everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Abiola Adeife you can call me Abiola by Grace Abby or Abiola and welcome to my channel welcome to another conversation episode and today I have one of my best girls on earth with me on this episode and this is Agogo Agogo Here. Hi, darling. How are you? Like, it's actually cool to hear you first hand say introduce yourself every single time on the show. I know, right? I know, right? And uh, you'll see me here as Abiola by Grace, not the red yeah. one. Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so good to have you here, girl. You too. And uh, yeah, so this is Agogo. She's going to introduce herself. And um, yeah, so over to you, Agogo. Introduce yourself and what you're into and the initiative as well, A and B Project. Okay, cool. My name is Agogo Dibo Otrofa. Um, I'm a data analyst. I work with National Population Commission. We usually um, get primary data and use it for to make Nigeria better, in essence. And um, I also have an um, NGO called Osman Beautiful Initiative. The whole idea for Osman Beautiful was my long-term passion of having served and volunteered in charities for over 10 years and um i in an orphanages as well and i realized that um one thing i noticed that they lacked in my opinion was the zeal like it was just like basic every day people different people tripping in and personally i didn't like that and i felt like they needed to experience more life to have um not just their current reality determine their future so that's why I started Awesome and Beautiful to encourage the less privileged to dream and to become more. And we um, we we work with them in terms of shared partnership. We do not take over people's responsibilities, but work with them to bring them to a level of self confidence and self worth, so that they wouldn't be a problem to anybody else in their society, and they'll be able to be responsible for their families and for themselves. We've been able to um, officially we started in 2018, and um, we've done several programs, and we've given out about five scholarships, of which two are still currently running. And the whole idea is to see these children to university level where their education could be relevant to their economy and um yeah we we make sure that the parents of these children are also responsible for them and their savings so it's like a holistic approach we approach and we use in reaching out to people to make sure that there's a well-balanced growth in everyone's life yeah so that's much. us in summary you can find out more on their pages i'm going to leave a link to their okay. page and their websites and okay. be a part of this um you know my friends i'm so proud of my friends and that's why i actually give our time to you know share what this is all about and um we need more people out there to you know do the good stuff yeah because i'm so proud that i have friends <laughs> my friend in my circle what my tight friends things out there for our nation or you know our community and our world at large you know i'm so glad i'm talking about this because not all my friends or all our friends or people in our circles are vocal about the things we do so when we have platforms like this to promote and you know and just share more it's so good to do that so now my friend and i we have this very important conversation that we need to have about friendships you guys can see the title already um i mean friendship is is a big deal and i feel there is less narrative or content out there and i feel and friendship is the basis of every other relationship be it business partnerships marriages relationship however and if we get it right in our friendships be it boy to girl friendship girl to girl friendship i think we can go even further beyond you know just being friends so that's why we are having conversations about this today so have a go we've been friends for over 10 years <laughs> thank god and i mean we've had our times you know and i mean we always have these conversations on a reg that you know people think you know uh friendship goals is you know when you just see us on instagram and you know that's not you know it's beyond that so now i just want you to share a bit on you know what are the qualities that actually sustain friendship those qualities that actually sustain friendship i would say like my ness and um it's relative because you can be like-minded with one another, 
but still have very, very different characteristics or share, um, have different expressions to, to your reality, if I would say. I can, I can be a very heavy introvert and Abby is the more friendly one in, in with, with regards to both of us, but we have like minds, like we, we share the same values, we love the same kind of topics and the kind of things we even like in terms of going out and family-wise, it's similar so we can um, have conversation and have a very long sustained period of friendship on that basis so yeah one is like-minded and um i would say love i would say empathy and um what else i wouldn't say integrity because this is more of a, a relaxed friendship mm. yeah but i mean if i were to say yes integrity because as little as if, if if you give me something to do, as you, I mean, now give me something to do, um, you would expect that I do it honestly, no matter how small or how familiar we are with one another. So integrity still has like a silent role to play, even in very casual relationship or non-transactional business relationships. And um, yeah, I think those are some of the things that um, I would want and the, the, you know how people say 50-50 kind of love? Mm. Um, I would say there should be some form of balance in it, it. I know that we don't expect each other to give of one of each other on the same level, but there should be some form of sharing. Like you should be able to give of yourself to your friend and likewise you should be able to receive that from your friend. And it's only healthy. And if you feel like you don't do like that person is not there for you in that capacity that it's healthy for you you can speak up and if need be maybe you guys need to oh. separate mm, yeah separate but do you think everybody really handles that separation well i don't think so i feel like um there's one time i made a statement to one of my friends i said we all protect ourselves from from um we all protect our mental health to someone else's own detriment like like i i i may be your friend and maybe there's a certain kind of aura you, you are or you give around me and that oh i need to step back but like i, I have actually seen that okay how would it be for this my friend i'm not saying it's a bad thing to prioritize your mental health it's absolutely the best thing to do but i feel like sometimes it wouldn't be bad to maybe think of how the other person may feel maybe that may just help you be less um maybe feel less bad about a situation yeah exactly and maybe less think of okay if if i feel this way how about this other person like but sometimes it's difficult it's easier said than done it's difficult to remove yourself from a situation and think for the other person and say okay how how is this person viewing this thing how can i not only think of myself it's it's a tight place to be in but i feel like that's where the Holy Spirit comes in because they're like, I was, I was having a conversation with my friend's husband and we we're like, um, there's a level you get to in your relationship with God where there's just some things that can't be. Whether or not you used to do them, it may be okay. It's just like how the Bible says it's permissible, but it's not for, for you and everything. Like, so there's a level you get to in friendship where like you have to just be that person that's, you know, okay, maybe I should take a step back, think, go back to this person. How can I be a better friend? Or um, am I, do I really need to step back from this situation to allow myself heal? Because I've had situations where, in my opinion, I kept being like going forward, forging on with the friendship, even when it, it hurt me in different ways. And at some point I had to tell her that, you know what, I've forgiven you, we are okay, but I think I have to heal. I think I have to take time and wait to heal. And it did affect our friendship. I mean, we're, we're, we're not that close anymore, but we're cordial. Like we still converse when we need to. And like, we don't, I don't know anything about her anymore in, 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 in depth as I used to. And, and that's I feel okay, like, right? yeah, that's okay. I said, that's yeah, okay. That, that's, that's okay. I mean, that, that's why I feel like it's okay. It's like, cause I mean, she's good now, like in her mental health and I'm good and I think the, the most important thing is your heart. It's it. What's this thing called when you keep malice against somebody? Yes, it's malice. And because I've had situations where um, I had a friend who was choking me. This was now a, a, a male friend, but he was choking me on. But it got to a point where I started resenting him in my heart. And at a point, God told me about it. 
And I'm like, oh, but he, he made me come to this situation. But God was speaking to me about it and said, I needed to forgive him. I needed to let it go. So one day I called him and I'm like, you may not understand fully what I'm about to say, but I just want you to know that I have forgiven you. Like I've released forgiveness. And I was like, oh, sorry. I was like, that's okay. Like, but you made me get to a place where even the thought of you was bringing anger in me and that's very important like if you guys are in a place where you're not angry at each other there's no malice there's 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 cordial respect then that's fine if if you need to 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 step back i wouldn't use the word cut off because it's not in all situations like boundary, cut off. a boundary not resentment. yes definitely boundaries you you can you don't have to disturb things that mean you may not necessarily discuss oh we will talk about this and not that but it just happens over time like when you reassess your friendship and see where you have placed a certain person and like okay this is not where the person is obviously in my life and I want to realign yeah that kind of thing thank you so much for that so I just wanted to ask um just so that the younger ones people in the younger age group can learn I mean we've transitioned a lot and yeah. when we transitions, do you think it's a lot of well, friendship is a lot of work like these days? Just with transitions, of course, yes, because. I can't remember what I was telling my mom and you know we're like oh I was like oh mom what used to happen in that generation is very different like okay I think I said people were wicked then but it's like the violence and the wickedness of man is like so obvious and so bad nowadays mm -hmm. so it's 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 in the same vein you say like this you have to put more work in everything like you know I feel like with growth with more knowledge with more technology and exposure in life there's bound to be um some form of digress in being very intentional about things and it involves work it's just like your relationships like i oh i'm a heavy believer of that if we put the same kind of time and effort we put in our regular relationship in our friends with that we put in our maybe our husbands or boyfriends maybe we'll have better friendships and we'll have opportunities to forgive people more because we're so quick to like now there's something called cancel culture right so it wasn't there before so about i mean for your boyfriend there's more grace extended there's more love there's more empathy there's more okay and don't do it again and stuff like that it's like you know there's more communication but we don't communicate maybe we think our friends are just supposed to be people that we hang on when it's time and then we let them go when it's like when, you, when we're done hanging them on board, the truth is that there's communication, there's love, there's respect, there's, there's continuation. That's deep. But then it's always painful if it's one-sided, if it's just... Of course, of course. You can always expect to receive the way you give. You must understand, I, like I started with single mind, single mind, but you can have very different personalities and you have to have that understanding of who you are relating with. Like, Abby cannot necessarily expect me to maybe do something outrageous. I can. I mean, I can do it because if if I need to do it for Abby or um, I just need to do it for my own self and my own health, I can. But if if it's something that she expects of me regularly, it's going to be like put us in a very difficult place, a place where maybe we're always clashing. Mm -hmm. So in that form of single minded, like this is the person like I call my sister, I call my friend or I call whoever, like you must understand that this person has a default. I wouldn't say default because I, I don't like the statement of that's how I am. I always feel like there's there's room to there's room to evolve and express yourself and improve because it, it's used a lot of time to um evade response or evade bad behavior or stuff like that. So um I feel like um like you, you don't have to be the same, like you don't have to give up, you don't have to measure. In the, in the terms of oh, I gave you this, like why am I not receiving it? However, you must you must be able to feel that form of love and respect from that relationship, whatever it is. And if you don't get to, if you don't get to there, and if you can let the person know in love and respect, the same way you would have done it to your better half, you should like communicate that same feeling to your friend. Mm. Thank you, and this leads me to you know resolving conflicts in friendships. To make it to make the bond stronger, you know, it's easy. Yeah. Uh, if something happens, you know, it's easy for both parties to, you know, start. Okay, maybe I just give her space and the likes. But then we've had friendships or we've had issues ourselves that, yeah. you know, and then we have to come back and then we come back stronger. So what has helped you? I think I don't like conflicts personally. I like to address things. I hate sweeping the donut packets and I, carpets, and I do not know how to pretend. 
I'm so bad. Like if I don't like something, you know, people say things like, oh, just let it go, just forgive, which is okay. Like sometimes you have to release forgiveness without hearing I'm sorry. Mm. I like to communicate what I feel really hurt me, especially if um, this is someone I regard, like I want to continue the friendship because I don't want anything to be born out of strife or to born out of resentment. So I like to say, oh, you did this to me, but I like to do it in in a very calm way. Like, like you know, I, I tend to think for my friends in terms of, okay, maybe she didn't mean it that way, or maybe um, like they didn't, I, I, I tend to think of why they would have done what they did to me that made me feel hurt. And I feel like sometimes it has allowed me to get watered down friendship. It has also allowed me like address situations mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yes so it's it's the best of both worlds and i feel like there's no there's no one way scenario to things like mm -hmm. th these are things that take time these are things that evolve with time these are things that build or break off with time and you have to be able to you know let the person know so personally i would tell you most often than not i will let you know what you did to make me unhappy and i remember one time even more recently I think this year I, I did let Abby know that at the time I was I at that time I needed her to be someone she was not for me because and she didn't realize it and I didn't want her to know how serious it was for me to be there for me I wanted her to be there for me because she would be there for me as a friend and you know she we, we kind of went back and forth and we she kind of understood what I was saying and um I understood what she was saying and it's just like an eye-opener that sometimes like you know we just need to do that extra. And at the same time, when that extra is not received, because it put me in a place where instead of getting angry with you, I needed to step back. And my own form of stepping back was probably not calling as often because I felt like I didn't want to be in a place where I blamed you for, being, for not being there or not being understanding of your situation. But my reality was so strong yeah. that that's like you know that's what was really affecting me and felt like you didn't see it so I was like okay let me I remember we were having a conversation I was giving you one-liners I was giving one-liners for two reasons I was tired and I'm like oh well like you're on there so like yeah and we had to like okay. trash it out them yeah. and yeah. have that conversation yeah. properly so I think that that's something like it's 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 dynamic and it's interesting. And I think that's where the color of, and the spice of life is. It's the differences that make us who we are. And like, like I say, like the same way I would take time with my husband to let him know what he did to me, it's the same way I would like my friends to know. But like, if my husband comes to bash me down and telling me something I did wrong, like I would feel bad, for example. The same way I would feel bad if my friend comes to bash me down. Like, so in telling me what I've done, I feel like there should be some form of love. There should be some form of respect yeah. at the same time. Like, don't take friendships for granted. Yeah. Don't take, don't, don't, don't think like you've seen it all, you know it all, and just leave things be like, like, I, yeah, I guess. I think we learn every day and we see things that make us like, okay, maybe I need to evaluate how I've been a friend before because growing up, the things we knew back then is not what we know now. And the way we treated our friends, treated people back then, we call it out now and say, oh, it's bad behavior and blah, 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 blah. But we forget that we were once those people or we once did those things to people, even in our secondary schools, if I would say. So, you know, coming back to reality, sometimes we are ashamed of our actions in the past. Mm -hmm. So like when you come back, like we, that's where like, we, like the Bible says, like you go from glory to glory. So we become better every day and we want yeah, to do better really in, in different capacities every day. Yeah. yeah. Really so, mm -hmm. okay, sorry, go on. Go on there. Okay, just to answer, if, if in case I haven't answered it, in, I feel like in handling conflicts and situations with friends, I feel most, if not all the time, it's best to discuss it. Discuss, discuss it. it. If you're too angry to discuss it, give yourself time. Fine. Yeah, and, and discuss it because, tr trust me, you know how they said a problem shared is a problem half solved. Oh. It kind of gives no room for the enemy to sow a seed yeah because by the time you have it and maybe it occurs again or knowing it to the person you become angry and such oh, seeds angry. are sown and it grows yeah 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 and it takes us back to love like you said you know yeah sometimes we forget that factor of love in friendship which makes us think 
you know, friendship for granted. Like, I mean, yeah. I have other friends, they are friends that, you know, or mm -hmm. find more friends and they like. So if you remember that factor of love and then it takes us to communication. When you have love for somebody, if something is wrong, you want to talk about it. You want to heal. And also in, you know, taking time off to, you know, cool off, you don't want to take too long, like you said, because otherwise yeah. the person will do something else that will annoy you and then it keeps growing until it becomes too much for you to deal with and and then you're like, mm -hmm. okay, I don't think we can be friends or I don't think we really uh, understand each other and the likes. Yeah, and also to in love, in love, you have to understand that your friends will not have the same personality. I think you mentioned something on yeah. that. You know, we the fact that someone, your, your friend isn't the exact way you are doesn't mean uh, they're against you or they are your opposites totally. You know, it's in accepting. Love will make us accept our differences. And That's there's right. a reason why that person is in your life. There's a reason why the um, outgoing person is in your life and you are not the outgoing type. There is mm -hmm. a reason. You don't need to change that aspect of your friend. Yeah, so I think that brings us to the end of this conversation. Except I have something else to share with us. Uh, I don't. You know. I just feel like I mean I was listening to you and I was thinking back on friendships that have gone sour or not as close as before and you know there are several reasons I'm a pusher in terms of wanting things to not not just cutting things off like I try I try in my in my way I think so but um I think that there's sometimes I get to a point when I'm just like you know what no I don't think I want this I I know what the person may want but I don't think I want. Mm. I don't feel like this is what is healthy and I may be wrong but I mean friendship is good friendship is great we, we are not an island of ourselves and we need one another to grow and to become whoever God has called us to be mm. so as much as we love romantic relationships I feel like we should also do our best to sustain our very mutual love and I, I have it, it's alarming to me because I have I have some very key people as my friends and they all have very different characteristics but I'm I'm a friend to them in very different ways and and that makes me very happy because I feel like um I've gotten to a place where I relate to my friends and who they are I try not to expect too much of them I still have expectations of them but I don't put expectations that are not like um that they don't make sense that are only going to lead to problems or um us being unhappy with one another so i think that's very important um don't say oh uh, my friend i don't want to put expectations all these things are just jargons you need to it, it's you're lying to your own self because you need to be able to like say okay i would expect this person to do this for me and stuff like that there was a time my friend actually signed off of um she signed off of a newsletter she may see this and I was like oh my gosh like if anyone did that I didn't expect you to do it and she's like um well she didn't want clutter and everything I was like well I just wanted to express to you that it made me feel sad that you would do this but I understand where you're coming from I'm just saying that if you were me as long as it's my friend that is doing it even if it's just clutter in my inbox I don't mind the clutter I'm there for it, right? So that's what well, that was my way of letting her know. But I mean, I understood where she was coming from, and I had to accept that was her own way of like just, clearing her yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it hurt me, and I just told her like it, it did hurt me. Yeah, it just hurt me and stuff like that. So I mean, you don't go about now flogging it. You did this, you did this. Blah, blah, blah. Like try and move on. Try and be very understanding. Like I said extend more grace the way you would in a romantic relationship yeah. and i feel like the world would be a better place at least one day at a time yeah and that's friendship for you some days you really want to extend the grace and some days that's right that, and that's so right understand that that's right and make the world a better place like she said I yes girl. This episode. thank you so much Agogo. thank you so thank much. you to abby for having me and feel free anytime like i really enjoy your um your sessions and i'm glad that you've been able the same way you started off on how your friends like talk about what they do if i haven't said it enough i'm really proud of you like sometimes i i watch your stuff on instagram or youtube and i'm like oh well i've been talked a lot so i mean i'm glad that she, i'm glad that she's been able to do something and if anything you're actually really bold because you're going out there regardless of your in terms 
quote followers or in terms of people that notice you you're still putting yourself because this is what you want to do and a lot of us sit back and are not able to do anything we want to do because we are shy you guys and are not, pushing me yeah so <laughs> please keep keep moving and keep being an inspiration to us all to like get out of our comfort zones and do what we want to do to make our own respective worlds like uh, add our own quota to make the world a better place yeah thank you so much Agogo. you know you're making me teary oh my, God. <laughs> oh my girls thank you. <laughs> thank you so much i hope you all enjoyed this episode oh this is an amazing episode i really enjoyed it myself me too I'm actually cool. i think this is an episode i feel friends should watch together <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and maybe when you watch it together be honest with one another share what has hurt you in the friendship give yourself a room like to grow like like i say put the effort you put in romantic relationship where you guys may have call out time a room where you discuss differences or how you've been doing discuss it with your friends discuss how i've been a better friend discuss how maybe another a third party friend has told you how you weren't a good friend and how you could be better discuss what makes you sad discuss healthy things like pray together love one another together dance together like go out take heavy bites and just like give yourself time to heal you know if your friend told me you hurt me so much that i think i need to step away like allow her to be that way and just like my sister told me one time like you know for the fact that she expressed to me that she was unhappy with me first of all like this should have just been and i'm sorry and i agree with that because you know if, if anyone if your action hurt somebody before you defend it yeah, say sorry yeah yes yeah let them have that moment of being mm-hmm. upset don't take it away from them with mm-hmm. no you don't have a right to be upset and i mean if and i've done that i mean this is also a a check liner for me to, as well to go back and reevaluate my friendship mm, thank you so much oh my goodness guys i have friends that are full of wisdom we need to bring them ah, up, right please <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah thank you all for staying to the very end and we'll love to find out you know for friends out there what are the things that have been helping you what are the causes yep. to seek out in friendships so that we can mm-hmm. also learn from you so and if you have more things for us to talk about like talk about. we always here to discuss it because like this is a topic that goes on and on and on yes yes because we keep building friendship we keep growing. that's right girl yeah yeah, yeah. So- Thank you so much, Agogo, once again. Thank and God. Thank you all again. I hope to see you guys on my next episode. Can I just add something? I know oh, I've been adding no some, some things, but no there's worry. something in our relationship that I really love. Like, I remember when we were both getting married and there were days where I was really tired to pray. And, you know, you just pray because at the time, I, I was okay I was tired and yeah. if anything I knew like those prayers got got me through and I was able to do that for you as well like yes. of, you got yeah. married before me so like I was able to do that for you at your yeah. time like, like God graces us for our friends like mm-hmm. God gives us words of wisdom for our friends the same way he graces us for our spouse like mm-hmm. like I said it's so much tied to the two of them that's why people say well i want to be friends before i get married mm. yeah so it can sustain over time like mm. so god has graced you for the friendship for the sisterhood for whatever it is relationship you have wow. and i spend time with him to know that person like sometimes i feel proud that god would tell me something about maybe my sister's kids or my friend's kids or stuff like that because it feels like i can be there i can step in to pray right. so in that place you yourself get your own healing you yourself get your own clarity and most especially you get that form of um light in your life that you're able to share it across people and you're able to be a better friend to your friend and you're able to call out errors like you know oh abby i don't think that thing you did was good in love and respect and stuff like that so spend time with him because you draw from him to give off of yourself definitely definitely because he was the one who created every one of us so that's right yeah so he would definitely know agogo better than myself and then when i yeah. spend time with him it tells me more about you know how to relate even the words mm-hmm. that will suit you better yeah so yeah and pray for them pray, pray for them, for them. Yeah. when your friend comes to your mind don't say oh my friend please uh, say prayer yes. don't just say oh i'll call them later you can pray yeah for say, them. Prayer. Call them later. say prayer yeah yeah that's say prayer sweet. we have to all right girl this girl <laughs> we should yeah, we should yeah all right so guys
guys this brings us to the end of this episode don't forget to drop the comments below and share with your friends as well on another yes. time with me on abiola by grace take care bye, bye. bye.